Taking samples of animal and plant cells and viewing them under a microscope is a specified practical in the WJEC specification. This means that it is very likely a question related to the practical will be in your exam. You will need to be able to describe the step-by-step -step process of sampling cells and some of the reasons behind some of the steps. Using a cotton wool bud, you first scrape the inside of your cheek and I stress you must include the word inside. Then you wipe the sampled cells onto the glass slide. The used cotton wool bud is then hygienically disposed of by placing into disinfectant to avoid contamination. Using a pipette, add a couple of drops of methylene blue to the glass slide in order to stain the cells to make the cell features more visible and so that more detail can be observed. Then, using the mounted needle, you lower the cover slip gently onto the stained sampled cells which reduces the likelihood of trapping air bubbles between the glass slide and the cover slip. For requiring a plant cell sample, we use onions. First, we use forceps to peel a thin layer from the inside of a freshly cut onion. A scientific phrase for this thin onion skin layer is called the epidermis. We then place the epidermis onto a glass slide. Using a pipette, we add a couple of drops of iodine solution to stain the plant cells, which should make the cell features more visible and more details can be seen. It is important you say iodine solution, because iodine is a solid when not in a solution at room temperature. Then, Using the mountain needle, you lower the cover slip gently onto the stained sampled cells which reduces the likelihood of trapping air bubbles between the glass slide and the cover slip. Now that we have our slides prepared, we need to view the cells at different magnifications and draw and label the cell features that can be seen using a light microscope. In an exam, you might be asked to label a microscope and demonstrate that you know how to calculate the total magnification being used by the light microscope. What you look through is called the eyepiece lens. Normally, this can't be changed and it makes objects appear 10 times larger. We say the eyepiece lens has a magnification of times 10. The three color coded lenses are called the objective lenses and they can be twisted so we can change which one we use. Each objective lens has a different magnification, for example, times 4, times 10, and times 20. To calculate the total magnification, all we do is multiply the eyepiece lens with the objective lens that is being used. For example, eyepiece lens is times 10 magnification, multiplied with the objective lens with a times 4 magnification, giving us a total magnification of times 40. This specific light microscope can achieve a total magnification of times 40, times 100 and times 200 depending on the objective lens you use. Now the wheel on the side is the focus wheel. We use this to adjust the focus which is basically how the light hits our eyes so that we can see the cells more clearly. In the specified practical you are asked to draw and label the cheek and onion cells as they appear under times 40 magnification. Here are some drawings I've produced to show you what you are expected to draw. Notice we only draw and label the nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane for the cheek cell because at times 40 you can't see the mitochondria. For the onion cell the only extra thing you label is the cell wall because again the features like the mitochondria cannot be seen at this magnification. Light microscopes therefore have some limitations as their maximum magnification restricts you from seeing a lot of the smaller structure of cells. Electron microscopes, however, can see smaller structures in better detail as they have a much greater magnification, but they can only view dead tissue. Light microscopes are still able to view living tissues and cells, etc. So, next time you look in a microscope, hopefully you will know how much bigger the microscope is making the object appear. In the next lesson, we will take a closer look at calculations involving magnifications, drawing size, and actual sizes of cells.